Hi guys, John from SurfFX, and today we're having a look at the 2020 SIC RS. Now, this has been our best-selling all-around board, uh, and it's due to a few things. One, it's very comfortable to ride in a little bit choppier conditions. So, you know, anyone can paddle something fast on the total glassy lake, but when you add a little bit of chop, a little bit of boat wake, a little bit of swell, uh, it really changes things. Now, what they've done, they've taken this all-around board and they've made it a bit faster making it a bit faster what they did they just pulled in the nose a little bit so it's got a little bit more bite to it they flattened the rocker line a little little bit so it's just into the wind you're just going to not get pushed around so much having that little bit of lower rocker through the nose also keeps kind of pushing less of a bow so it does kind of slice through the water a bit better that said anytime you slice through the water you get water up the deck uh, so they've taken the volume added it a little bit to the height of the board and through the nose and that just helps the water shed off Nice and easy. You've got your drain holes in your standing area. Standing area has been dropped a little bit to keep the stability up, as well as the rails are a little bit straighter now, a little bit more boxy. So you're gonna just have a little bit more rail stability. So you're gonna be able to ride a little bit smaller board for the same kind of speed. So through the back end of the board, again, a flatter rocker line lets the water just shed off the back real nice and easy to, as you're paddling along, keeping the board speed up. And having that square tail, which these boards are quite known for, gives you a lot of stability. It also lets you, at the all-around side of the board, lets you surf it a bit too. It has that tail stability when you want to get on the back end to do boy turns and stuff like that. Construction-wise, it's a new construction called SF or Superfly. Uh, it's a PVC wrap on the board, keeping it real tough. Again, one of SIC's things they're known for is their durability. So bottom shape, you've got a very, very slight concave that goes into these little channels through the back end. Previous, on the previous model, they were a bit shorter. They're a bit more pronounced now. So these run a little bit further up, kind of just below, just behind the standing area. Now these little right, these little channels start. So anytime you add channels like that, it's going to add a little bit of grip and give you a bit more stability in a straight line. Adds on, you know, works almost like a set of little little fins to keep it extra straight. Uh, through that middle section in the back, there's a little bit of a slight V. So uh, just again to help the water just come off the back of the board, nice and easy. RS is going to continue, or already has since we've had a few in, to be one of our best selling boards and as an all rounder uh, to be able to pick up the speed a bit better but still being out with some good ocean and rough water uh, ability to the board really is a board you're going to want to look for and want to get it on, give it a try.